next example is deal with even powers of sine and cosine. So if you have an odd power, you can just do what we did in the previous video. But if everything's even, you're kind of stuck. So if I have something here like sine squared, if I change that to cosine squared, well, I have 1 minus cosine squared. But I still don't have a du. I haven't solved my problem because I can't integrate sine squared or cosine squared when it looks like that. However, the trick here is to use half angle identities. So sine squared x is 1 half times 1 minus cosine 2x. And cosine squared x is 1 half times 1 plus cosine 2x. Both of these are on the trig identities sheet that I had put on Canvas a couple weeks ago. Um, I would expect ordinarily you guys to actually remember these. Uh, but, you know, just like in real life, you can always look them up. So what we want to do in the case like this is just use this identity, stick this in this integral, right? Now this is easy enough to do This is a simple u substitution. So u is equal to 2x, then du is 2dx, and then so you have 1 half um, du is dx. If you want to write that out, it's perfectly fine. But if you are comfortable enough with these u substitutions at this point that you don't need to write that out and you can just do it in your head, I'll take that too. Okay? So it's if you can just do it in your head, a uh, derivative of sine is cosine, so this would be 1 half, 1 plus 1 half sine of 2x. So in the end, my answer is this. Um, yeah. There it is. Now you do have to be careful because, well, you don't really have to be careful. If you do it in your head, it's fine. But you do have to remember that if I'm making a u substitution for the 2x, then I also have this guy 1 here and now. So just watch that. Anyhow, but this is an easy example, right? It's just sine squared. What happens if it becomes more cosine to the fourth? Okay, now we have some now we have some work. Okay, and unfortunately, this is the thing about these even powers. The higher the power, the more pain is involved. It's not the same thing with the odd powers because odd power is odd power. You end up with like something to the n and it doesn't matter if n is 3 or 5 or 7 or whatever. But here, look what you have to do. You have to think about this as cosine squared squared, which is fine. We've done that before. So I'm going to put this in. So I've got 1 half 1 plus cosine of 2x quantity squared. Okay. Now that I've, well, maybe I still need it. I do actually. So, uh, going to keep that for a moment. When I work this out, I'm going to have a one fourth. I'm just going to pull it in front of my integral. But then I've got this 1 plus cosine 2x quantity squared. So I end up with 1 plus 2 cosine 2x plus cosine squared 2x. Okay? So this I can integrate, this I can integrate, but I still have an extra cosine squared. So I have to use this thing again, which is why I left it on the board, right? Um, whenever you have a four or six, something like that, or two twos, whatever you have, um, you're going to have to end up using this, this half angle formula multiple times. Now, the thing about the half
half angle formula, of course, this is half of that angle, right? So if I have two, if I have x, I the right hand side is two x. Here I've got two x. So then when I put it in my right hand side, it's four x. So it will keep going up. So I'm going to use this to put this in here. I'm going to end up with one four. These I'm just going to leave them right now. And then I'm going to use this guy, but because my argument is 2x, this guy changes to be a 4x. Oh, barely fit it in there. Okay, now I can kind of clean this up a minute. Here, I'm going to throw it down here. I apologize for the little box. I wasn't thinking very well when I put it down there, but that's life. So I've got this one half goes through, right? So I've got one plus one half. So I've got three halves plus two cosine two x plus one half cosine four x. And now I really do have to think about these as three different integrals, three different u substitutions, right? Because this one is going to be 3 halves x. For this one, I would have a u equals 2x. And for this one, I would have a u equals 4x. But all I'm really going to get is the 1 over 2, 1 over 4. So feel free to write it out. Or if you don't want to write it out, do it in your head. Derivative of sine is cosine. This is going to be sine 2x, right? Derivative of sine 2x is 2 cosine 2x. This one is going to end up being 1 8, right? Because derivative of sine of 4x is going to be 4 cosine 4x, but I got an extra 1 half there, so I have to get a 4 in the bottom, right? Uh, plus c. Um, do we see that sine 4x barely on the board there? Plus c, we'll put them on the bottom there. Here. Uh, all right, forget my schedule at the top there. Okay. So um, there you have uh, the example. What ends up happening with these, as I said, the higher power, the more pain, right? So if it was cosine to the fourth sine squared, you'd have a lot of algebra, a lot of, you know, squaring and reusing these formulas, and it would go up and up and up. Um, and unfortunately, that's just the only way to do these. Sometimes you can get away with using the um, sine 2x equals 2 sine x cosine x, which might make it a little bit easier, but not necessarily that much easier because as long as the things are squared, you still have to end up using the half angle formula. So that is just the way it is.